Alright, welcome back. We're going to play some more Kingdom Come now. Since we last played, I have done a lot of playing offline. Did a lot of discovering. Killed a lot of people. It's been, it's been a good time. Tried leveling up my stuff a bit. The game has been crashing a lot on me though, and because the game is so hardcore, it never auto saves. That usually means replaying hours of gameplay over again. Um, so you might see me save meticulously because it's just because it's been crashing on me a lot. I have extremely low tolerance for that, unfortunately. But I have really leveled up my alchemy, and I have a boatload of potions on me. Let's we'll go over real quick some of the changes I've done. Lots and lots of different potions on me that I'm really excited to use. Some of them I haven't used up. Things to poison my weapons with. My horse has a bunch of stuff on him, too. I've given up a lot of the heavier human armors. As you can see, I don't even have some heavy armors on me. These are decent armors here. Um, I would like to get some for my legs, because my leg armor sucks. But these are decent armors that are pretty stealthy, so I shouldn't have to go back and forth switching all the time. If it's something really important, I might, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with my stealthy setup. I'm still returning to the rogue that I want to be. Either way, I want to get back to the main storyline stuff. So let's go to town and see if we can... Go ahead and try to talk to that bandit. He's got some news for us. Hopefully. Hopefully the town doesn't kill him. Or has killed him in like the days I played off camera. You know, it's hard to say. Uh oh. Um see so it says. I wanted to vent my rage on someone. So the town's not happy with me. Like, because I murdered a bunch of them, even though they have no idea it was me. I could, I could fight and kill him. How many is there? Bring it Two? I mean, they're never gonna like me if I start killing him over and over again. What? I think there's something to be said for that. That being said, I have no qualms in just murdering people. Is that the best you- <laughs> Oh, it's the best I can do. I mean, your friend has left you. Also, the <laughs> game seems to be losing frames. Come here, lily liver. So that's a fantastic insult. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. As much as I am. Stop beating on my horse, dude. Okay, let's just get off and kick his ass, huh? I can't poison anything, I don't think. Because I'm already in the fight. That's why. Ah! Alright, asshole. Come on, pull out your weapon. Bring it on! Guess up! What's up? Shit yourself! This guy is a much better fighter than before. I fought these guys in the middle of the night and kicked their ass. Maybe they're just more great townsmen. Wait, so I land a blow. Boha yeho! Chase me again. What's he have on him? Hmm, some stuff that's worth some money. For some reason, these are worth a lot. No actual money, of course. Go screw yourself, sir. While well, we're at it, we'll take uh, a potion or two, huh? Nope, no, no. You can just eat this one. Mm. 
I'm never going to be in good relations with that town. It's just, it's never going to happen. But I'm, I'm totally okay with that, actually. Anyways. We're trying to help people here. I didn't make him chase me. I apologize for murdering him. Kind of hoping we get ambushed by um, some bandits, but appears like it's not gonna happen this time. This son on the other hand, like loves me. Something about uh, curing their sick or something. You're just a random villager. Okay, so who do we have to talk to here? I think we can just go straight up and talk to the, the sick guy. He shouldn't be so sick. Alright, is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Check get the captive, check on the bandit. This the same thing. Until the situation clears up. Uh, I believe it has. Anyways, let's talk to the guy. Welcome back to the land of the living. Who are you? My name is Henry, and I'm investigating on behalf of Sir Radzig Kobala. Oh, I see. You'll have an easy job with me, boy. How so? I won't give you any problems. That's sensible of you. I'm a sensible man. Only I'd like to get it over quick and not keep the Rate Executioner busy too long, if you catch my drift. I understand. What do you want to know? Everything. First, tell me who's behind all this. Who do you follow? I follow the coin, lad. We all do. That's not news to me, but who pays the coin? I got my pay from Runt, like all the men in Pribislavitz. And Runt got his money from the chief. And the chief had the coin minted. <laughs> Who's the chief? The bandit leader? Bandit? If he heard you say that, he'd have your head on a spike. That's the kind of man he is. Nobody knows much about him, though. Only that he ain't Czech. So he's a foreigner? German? Don't think so. For sure he ain't Czech. And he's got plenty of coin. I'd stake my neck on it. He's got noble blood in his veins. Judging by how he looks. Interesting. More by the way he talks. Any man can dress up like nobility, but he spoke all la di da like a lord. Interesting. Where's that chief of yours now? I've no idea. After Privis Lovitz, he ordered us to raid Merhoyet. But he wasn't with us. He went off who knows where. I don't reckon he'll be out of your hair for long, though. So the chief is in command of all these operations? You could say. I'd say you're looking at it all wrong, though. How's that? You ask who's in charge and who answers to who. Only this ain't some noble court. There was all sorts of gangs in Privislov. It's big and small. Robber barons who had their own... Brigades calling them my lord, and common footpads who hadn't a pot to piss in. Men came, men went. Lots of squabbles, the occasional murder. Old cronies and old rivals were meeting. Know what I mean? I suppose so. It was one big muddle. The main thing was nobody asked questions. I didn't give a damn who the chief was, or what he had in mind, or whether he had one ball or two. All I was interested in was the coin. Uh -huh. Should we tell them the coin's fake? How did you know about Privis Lovitz? Who well. took you there? A fellow by the name of Moorcock. We met near Kuttenberg. I was robbing burghers who were fleeing the town from Sigismund's army. We got to talking and he told me about Privis Lovitz. Why did you attack Merhoyet? 
The chief himself gave us the order. But I reckon he wanted to show the local lords he was nowhere near finished. So he's planning more raids? The chief's always planning something. Primus Lovitz was only the start. So you knew the coin was counterfeit? Of course I did. I brought those Groshen to Privis Lovitz, along with a few other things. Did you? And where did the forgeries come from? Like, where were they made? I don't know. Some merchant by the name of Menhart gave them to me. We used to meet at the charcoal piles near Rovna, by the crossroads there. As it happens, I'm supposed to be meeting him there about now. So Menhart's no waiting now is. Might be, might not. He could have heard what happened in Pribus Lovitz and decided not to show. And does this Menhart know where the coin comes from? How should I know? To me, he's just another link in the chain. I deal with him, and I never ask who he deals with. Just like he knows nothing about me. I see. So I suppose there's no point asking you if you know any more about him. It'd be a waste of breath. All he did was give me the coin, and then we went our separate ways. Who else knows about the money? Apart from the chief, Menhart, Runt and me, there was a few others. The men got some real money too with the false stuff. It'd be suspicious if they only had freshly minted coin. You said you used to bring other things. What were they? Letters. Menhart would give them to me for the chief. This time I was taking an answer back to Menhart too. Have you still got that letter? Aye. The yokels round here ain't got much interest in correspondence. Apparently. Give it to me then. I'd be delighted. What were the letters about? If I knew how to read, I wouldn't be trusted to carry letters, would I? I took them from Menhart. It's a good thing I know how to read them. I didn't mean to click that. That's all I need to know for now. He was extremely helpful. For now? For the love of Christ, boy, don't let the executioner interrogate me. I... I can't deny you've been cooperative. It was extremely crap. Henry! I think old straws come for the brigand. You think? Step back from that Eden, young fella. But, but you can't kill me. Not just like that. Shut the fuck up, you weasel. I keep it fucking shut. You don't even get a say. Calm down, straw. He won't escape justice. After all, he's... Don't stand in my way, Malikar. Let Henry decide. He's the one who saved his life. Understand the desire for vengeance. Let's talk about it. To Alwada! That horse will kill my boy! He won't leave Merha yet alive! I understand, Straw, truly. I lost my parents. They were slain in front of my eyes, and to the day I die, I'll never forgive myself for doing nothing to save them. And if you got your hands on the man who killed them, would you let them live? I... I suppose. See? Go then. Take that bastard and get out of here. Then if one day you find your parents killers, remember what passed here today. I'll probably just kill them. How am I supposed to take him to the jail? Let him swing the bat. Where blood is he? Where's that murdering cunt? She's straight to the sea word. I shouldn't talk to people about the cure since I'm here. Yeah, well. Tag me that time.
Well, let's see what they have to say about this. Also, since when can I fast travel inside town? I got one. What the hell those are? Where am I and how do I get out of here? Thank you for saving. I thought the game was just going to crash on me. Alright, so we're going back to town, Verica. Well, kind of. I could have saved myself a lot of time if I would have just killed him. Uh, and send back out there. Hopefully we don't get attacked and the way to town. Let's see, actually. Do I have the ability to repair my shoes? Indeed. Good. We got a nice shoe bonus now. I've been waiting a long time for that. Come on. Yeah, we're gonna have to go with that stupid town again. Usually I can get through with a little problem, but we'll see. Ooh. Yeah, let's see. That sounds like so upset they know that I killed all those people. But whatever. But not sometime no one's probably gonna talk to me. to you how's it looking Melikar I'm glad to see you Henry I'd like to thank you again everyone is cured it's nothing short of a miracle oh, that's a relief you've suffered enough we've all suffered enough God's truth you know the folk here are truly grateful they'd have you and Nicodemus canonized if they could they brought me gifts for the two of you I wasn't keen on the idea at first we're not left with much since the livestock died. But since you're here... You want a plague doctor? No, no. I can't possibly accept that. Give it all back, Melikar. With my thanks. That's kind of you. I'm glad you appreciate our situation. I don't know things are tough, all right. I understand. I'm just glad everything turned I like out well. I like to take things so people I, know I'm taking them. So am I. This doesn't feel right. If I want it, I'll take it later when you're dead. By my hands. I'll never see it coming. He likes me too much. Right, let's go out there and talk to Mr. Ragnarsen. I believe he, he prefers to go by Mr. I'm sure he does. Why not? How did I end up going southeast? I was going north. Is that not? Yeah, yeah whatever. Well, I'm impressed with this ability to actually jump over that. and surprised. There we go, not so bad. The fire is kind of a dead giveaway that you're here, but whatever. It's, it's fine. You do you.
God bless you. What troubles you? What, what is this about? Oh, oh, that's the guy we got drunk with. Yeah, no, I've returned from the map yet, sir. How does it look there? I brought them help from the monastery. Brother Nicodemus and Yahanka from Skalitz. Fortunately, Nicodemus was able to cure the disease. Well, at least what he's doing looks promising so far. Thank Christ. Some good news for a change. What about the captive? Did you question him? He was infected too. I see. Did he survive? Fortunately, he survived and I had a chance to question him. What did you find out? He was transporting the false coins to Pribislavitz. He got them from some merchant called Menhart. I don't know him. Neither do I. But I know where the money's handed over. It's not far from Rovna, and this Menhart should be waiting there about now. Excellent, Henry. We mustn't let this opportunity slip through our fingers. You go there and put pressure on this Menhart to tell us what he knows. Yeah. Don't go yet. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Oh, romantic cutscene. You haven't disappointed me. Nothing against Bernard, Robard, or any of those others. But none of them could find out as much as you. It's because I'll kill people without a second At least heart. not without beatings and torture. And that doesn't always work. That you know about. You're a godsend, lad. Thank you, sir. Now go and find out who's behind everything, and then we'll deal with them. Yes, sir. I don't think he has a soul. His eyes are pretty dark. Black is there. Sir. What is it? Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge, over and over. It's a hard question. I'm no theologian. But long ago I came to the conclusion that the only thing that makes sense is that it's all a trial. Life is one long series of problems to solve. The more you solve, the better a man you become. I never thought about it that way. Well, just look at the pampered ones who have no concerns in life, like young Lord Capon, for instance. I shudder to think how he will rule when his time comes. Tribulations spawn in life over and over again, and we must stand our ground and face them. So, I go to Sasso and solve this one. Hmm? You can rely on me, sir. So, I don't think I was going to say so. Good luck, son. Also, what's he doing here for himself? It's awfully risky. 300 gold? Get a new level of strength. Apparently, that pep talk really did a lot for my muscles. <laughs> 